I'm making a video on how to uh, modify a power valve to fit an overbore cylinder. I have not really seen any good videos showing, demonstrating this yet. Uh, just in particular on how to do it. Maybe some videos on just total engine rebuilds. But here's what we got here. So, I modified this standard power valve to fit a 40 overbore. So, if you actually take a look right here, there's a few grind marks. Just real little ones. Um, they're going to get smoothed out. But, uh, what I did, uh, uh, what I, the reason why I did this is the power valve closes up when the engine's running to uh, block off the gases, exhaust gases from coming up to increase RPMs. When it's open, it increases the torque. You have great torque when it's open, and when it's closed, it's higher RPMs but less torque. So it kind of makes sense when you think about it. The bike, you need more torque to get it up to speed, so when... The bike's just running in at low RPMs. You're trying to get the bike up to speed, so you need more torque. But when it's actually going, you just need more RPMs to get the bike going at a high speed. I mean, you still have torque and stuff. Great amount of torque when you're uh, at high speeds, but you have more torque when picking up. Uh, this also uh, really aids, you know, bikes with power valves generally have a more powerful power band, too. Uh, but whether it has a power, uh, power valve or not, it's still going to have a power band. Um, so what I did was I just grind it off here. Do not grind past this line here. If you do grind past this line, what's going to happen is right past here is this is the part where it actually seals. This is actually the part where it blocks off. So when this is closed and you grind past here, you're actually also leaving a little hole for the exhaust gases to escape over top of the power valve. So when you grind it, only grind it here. And that's all I did, just grinded it. So that way... When I stick this power valve in here, oops. just be careful when you do this. These power valves are strangely expensive, the way I've seen it. The power valve, now if I put you right up alongside there, the power valve does not extend into the cylinder. And you do that till you can't see it, and there's plenty enough clearance, just enough clearance that you're confident that it won't hit the piston. Because remember, things can change at higher speeds. This can wobble a little bit, especially if you're using a used cylinder, or maybe just a little bit worn. But as you can see, it's not protruding. Uh, we'll get, I'm actually kind of, would it take just a little bit more off yet? Because uh, it's really close still. Uh, like a little bit too close for comfort. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a thick wire brush after grinding that down just a little bit with a real fine uh, grinding stone. I'm going to take a wire brush and I'm going to make that all smooth and stuff so it'll look like it's a machined part. Uh, it doesn't necessarily need to be machined to do this. You can get away with just a grinding mod. It's much cheaper and it has the same effect. But that's what I recommend is just do it right and do it carefully. You know, Make sure you grind the right side. What I recommend doing is marking it when it's in here. Just mark where it protrudes out, and you can actually feel it where it will protrude out if you're doing an overbore and it's not modified. So uh, just make sure you mark it and stuff and make sure you're doing the right side and stuff. And then that mysterious bike that keeps blowing up on you that has an overbore and has scuff marks in the side of the piston at the same exact spot, well maybe now you just figured out the problem. You didn't modify the power valve. Or if you found out that you needed to mod the power valve, you didn't know how, well, it's just basically that simple. For this YZ250, that's how simple it is. Uh, most of the other bikes, it's usually that simple, too, because they all work the same. But the designs may be slightly different. So uh, that's just kind of basics on the power valves and why to grind them down and stuff before you do an overboard, because you will screw up your motor if you don't do that. And, in fact, if you turn your motor over sometimes, you'll actually see the power valve kick back and forth, which isn't good. Uh, so it, that's, it's really important that you uh, do that power valve mod. Uh, what I am going to do is here, I know a lot of you guys will complain about this mess. I know it's not a good area to work in. I just have everything laying out. And everything's going to be reorganized. I got new bolts and stuff anyways, so all these bolts and stuff. And pretty much just get scrapped because some of them, the heads are stripped and stuff. So I bought new ones and stuff and everything else. So, you know, that's just the basics on the power valves and how to modify them. 